Okay, we ready? Okay, thank you everybody for being here. I think as you know, in the last few hours, uh, we received confirmation of two presumed, and I emphasize the word presumed, positive cases of COVID-19 or coronavirus in Pennsylvania. Now I'm saying presumed positive for a reason, because the results have to be confirmed by the CDC. But we have two that we have tested in Pennsylvania, uh, and so we're presuming positive. Packaging up uh, 50 meals, roughly, give or take, uh, depending on how long all these supplies go. Uh, they're for people in the community. So, um, all these folks have been prepping meals, this meal all morning, and uh, we've been giving all the meals away. Honestly, we could probably make mm -hmm. uh, hundreds of meals and not give out enough food each day, but um, it's humbling, but it's also uh, uh, an honor and a privilege that we, we get to do this for the community, that um, we've been blessed in such a way that we can be a blessing to others. I mean, serving is just part of who I am and who our family is. I mean, we're all God's people, so we need to be here to help in good times and bad. It just happens to be we're in a bad time right now. You know, that's the thing, like, um, there isn't much time at home, so for me, this is just kind of business as usual. It just shifted, my, my priorities shifted, my roles shifted, my, you know, our, our goals stayed the same. If I help somebody, anybody, even if it's just for a little while, regardless, it's, it's a good feeling. Because they know that somebody cares and somebody wants to help them. I'm retired since uh, 2013. Okay. I'm on Social Security period, mm -hmm. and this really helps out me great. Mm -hmm. Well, I keep busy around the house. I don't go anywhere. If I have to go out and get a loaf of bread or something, that's fine. But other than that, I still I'm staying put. I, I really appreciate these people that do this and donate their time and everything else. Food is uh, kind of this universal thing, right? We all need food to to survive and. Um, and food is also very communal. Um, it has this way of bringing people together. Now we're not able to do our normal program in our normal way, um, but we have people that know how to grow food and know how to make food. And so uh, we thought, you know, we might as well use our resources um, in, in an impactful way here during this crisis.